Hi guys, welcome back to the Ugly Inside. I'm joined by Jason. We've just witnessed a 2-1 home defeat to Crystal Palace in the third round. We've been knocked out of the first attempt. Jason, talk me through, talk me through it. Well, it's just another poor performance, I'm afraid. Um, you know, we're, play, we're playing well, you know, playing good football, but we're not hitting the back of the net. Um, I think team morale's down at the moment. I think there's a lot of confidence down at the moment. I think it's, um, you know, the, fan, the fans are losing faith as well. And it, it's showing at the moment with fans walking out before the end of the game. What can we do to cut out the individual performances? Yoshida crosses for the first goal. What do you reckon of that? Well, uh, I mean, we, ju we just need to play as a team, really. Um, I mean, as, as a side, we got the players there, but it's just so, something not clicking. I mean, since the international break, we've won one game. And that's not good enough, really. We've got a lot of international players in the squad. Do they think they're better than the club? That's a big question. You know, there's all the talk about Wanyama and Mane at the moment. You know, people only see what they see on the pitch, hear what is rumoured, but obviously what happens in the back room is a different tale. You know, uh, there is stories after the Tottenham game that Pella and Tadic were in the changing rooms till half past nine in the evening, getting rollicking by Koeman. Is that right? Is that wrong? We don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, as fans, we want to see our team perf perform on the pitch, score the goals and get further I mean today FA Cup it's not three points we're out of the FA Cup now and all we got left is the league we're, we're 13th in the league at the moment uh, a lot of points off the top six um, if we're going to make a push of Europe that's all we've got to go for now but we need to bring in a striker we need to bring in someone that's going to give us regular goals at regular times Jay Rod's out probably for the rest of the season uh, Pella's out we don't know how long for apparently he's got a knee problem that could be anything up to a few months. Um, you've got Shane Long, who's a phenomenal player, gives 100% on everything, but he's not a prolific goal scorer. He will, he will work his socks off. Um, we need someone up there that's going to pop the ball in the back of the net, and at the moment, we haven't got that. Um, we've got the midfield. We've got good players in midfield. We've got good players in defence. Uh, Forster's on his way back in goal, but we've just got nothing up front to put the ball in the back of the net, creating chances, but no one wants to score. Do you think it was due down to the 5-3-2 formation that he started this morning? Uh, not really, no. I don't think that at all. I think I think Koeman had that right. We saw that in the first half. We saw that we were attacking and attacking well. Um, obviously, went 1-0 down. We came back, got, got the equaliser. You know, it was working well. He brought on Tadic. Why he took off Stephen Davis, I don't know. Maybe he's got an injury or something, but I think Stephen Davis at that time was the best player on the park. Well, he was in the first half anyway. Um, Mane then got his feet into gear and decided to start stepping up a gear, but too little, too late. We gave away, gave away a stupid ball in midfield. 2-1, it was game over then. We were on the back foot and tried attacking, but just had nothing to, you know, come against them. Now, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the website at theoversider.net. Mate. Well, you know, it wasn't a great game. Saints didn't do a lot. They got, in my opinion, Saints have just got average players. They've